Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel Easy Math Plotlib. Today I'm going through the logarithmic plots, which I promised you to do it uh, in a few videos ago, and more details about the ticks. Before starting, I want to thank you, thank both of you who subscribed to my channel, and also the one that hasn't subscribed so far, please do it, and if you find my videos please like them and if you have any question just leave a comment for me so logarithmic plots how it works for doing that i want to use a famous example in fluid mechanics which is moody chart if you are an engineer in mechanical engineering you probably know about it well doesn't matter actually it's just a plot so let's define my x axis i call the was the Reynolds number, which is a famous dimensionless number in fluid mechanics. So I just define a range for it from 1000 to 1 million and just the steps of four. So I don't want to show the marker size in my plot, so I just make the marker size zero. And my function, which is the friction factor, is defined as 0 0.0025 multiply for a smooth played it would be like this well this is my function so you don't need to know about the details it's just a, a function of f uh, dependent on the variable re which is the Reynolds number so I just do the plot and just let's make the line thicker and here we go well I just got a error here which is because i forgot the quality here and let me also inactive the limitations because the range i'm working with is completely different there it is very nice very nice so let me change the name of the uh, labels here so reynolds and f okay so here it is as i said we usually Actually, we always plot it in a log log scale. So let's do it here. It cannot be easier in the matplotlib. You just type plt.x scale for the x axis and you have log. And for the y axis, you have plt.y scale log. Very nice, isn't it? I have to tell you that you can either type log or linear and this linear is just a default so it was as before and you don't need actually to have this line of camera so only if you want to make it log log you uh, actually turn it on so x scale log y scale log and we have it here very nice isn't it so in a log log plot I usually specifically determine uh, my ticks so I do it for both x ticks and y ticks. I still keep the limitations inactive and I will tell you why. So for the x ticks, I let's say I go from 1000 before, I just want to show these ones, 1 is 6. And for the y axis, minus 3, minus 2, and 0, okay. There it is. Far better, isn't it? So, in the y-axis, uh, it's good. I it starts from 10 to minus 3. It goes to 10 minus 1. But for the x-axis, it's not the same. So, if you want to force it to exactly start at the starting point and ends at the last point, uh, you have to determine the x limitations. And so, don't forget to put the x limit after the x ticks. That's very important. So. It starts from 1e3 to 1 million. And here, problem solved. Very nice. Okay, so this is uh, everything you need to know about the logarithmic plots. Uh, and I can give you more details about the ticks, but I think it's better to keep it for the next videos. So thank you for, for watching. Uh, I will immediately upload the, the video about the the ticks you can apply to the minor and major ticks on a log log plot. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, comment, and like my videos. See you later. Bye bye.